Hi class, I want to do a video with your homework question number nine, as it can actually be a little tricky unless you know exactly what you're looking for. All right, so question nine goes like this. You have these two histograms, and the question asks, which histogram depicts a higher standard deviation? And notice how this histogram looks somewhat bell-shaped. This one, eh, a little bit bell-shaped, but not perfect. So maybe the, the shape here isn't what's going to give away which has a higher standard deviation. So the way you figure this out is you look at the values along the horizontal axis. So look at this one. It goes from 40 to 44 to 48 to 52 to 56 to 60. Those numbers are pretty close together. And then over here, this histogram goes from 30 to 40 to 50 to 60 to 70. The, the values are, are more spread out or there's a larger difference between these values. Because these values along the horizontal axis have more dispersion between them, it also means that this this histogram has a higher standard deviation. So which one are you going to pick here? Well, you have to read through um, the answers and find out which one makes sense. So I just said here, histogram B depicts the higher standard deviation. All right, this is because the distribution has more dispersion, all right, or the values are, are much larger along the horizontal axis. Let's see if that checks out. Great, we got it. I hope that helps.